on the mountain, in the valley, in the crowded streets, or the empty desert. In our hope and in our waiting, we are never alone. God is with us. Hi everyone, welcome to our series on Matthew. I'm going to be reading a few verses for you today from Matthew chapter 16. I'm going to be reading verses 24 to 26. Matthew chapter 16 verse 24 says, Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited, if he shall gain the whole world, and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? We simply cannot be true followers of Jesus unless we deny ourselves. Deny our flesh, deny all those little things that you want to do, that you know you shouldn't do, those things that are keeping you from having a deeper relationship with God, those things that you do in secret that you don't want anyone to know about those things that are planting seeds in your mind that you know shouldn't be there but we do it anyway those things that you know God is not pleased with these little things in our life might seem trivial but they make a difference and each day we make a choice to deny ourselves or to choose ourselves and God is saying in order to follow him we need to deny ourselves and choose him and it says for what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul Nothing in this world is going to last forever. This world is going to pass away. And I think sometimes we get caught up in the material things and the success and the things of this world. I know for sure that I've done that. And when you really think about what matters, nothing in this world matters in comparison to salvation and the life that Christ has for us. And God is telling us today to choose life, eternal life, and to choose Him and to give up the things of this world that might seem so significant to us now and might seem like the ultimate achievement. But none of these things matter in the long run if we are gonna lose our souls and our soul salvation over it. So I encourage you today to look inwardly and think about those things that might be keeping you from going deeper with Christ or those things that you know you should let go of that you just are holding on to so dearly because it's enjoyable or because it makes you feel good but you know it's not what God wants for you and God's life and what he has for us is so much greater than anything this world has to offer and he is encouraging us in this text to choose him and deny ourselves and I encourage you to do the same